Uh, thank you, President. Uh, President, I want to thank you, the Commissioner and colleagues for their contributions, and of course, again, to the Shadow Rapporteurs, uh, to the uh, Secretary. Can, Mr. Gallagher, can you move closer to the microphone? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Can we start the clock? Uh, so, to thank the Commissioner and their colleagues for their contributions, the Shadow Rapporteurs, the Secretary of the Fisheries Committee, the Council, the Commission, my group's policy advisor, indeed my own advisor. Uh, I understand that the Council at a technical level is divided as to whether or not the harvest control rule uh, should be exclusively decided by the Council. I also understand that the 27 Ministers uh, are yet to discuss this dossier in full uh, and this issue in particular. I hope that common sense would prevail. Uh, I uh, refer to the Commissioner's uh, uh, difficulty with plus or minus 5,000 tonnes. Commissioner, I would say to you that this was a pragmatic solution. We've been dealing with this dossier now for over a year uh, and it was the way forward uh, and I believe that at times we have to be pragmatic and that has overcome the difficulty. Uh, I want to say to the socialists that there's absolutely no ambiguity about my position in relation to your amendment. Uh, I certainly will be recommending that we support that amendment. In relation to the PPEs um, proposal, I would say to the PPE that they should reflect on this. I very carefully have included their concerns in Amendment 7, uh, which deals with the, the Bay of Biscay. It deals with artisanal uh, fisheries and historic rights. Anyone who supports that must remember that we'll have many, many more reports in Parliament, and if, if you support something that's wrong now, it may well be that if you are to be consistent, you will have to support something that's wrong uh, in the future. Uh, so it's totally wrong scientifically, it's not just my personal opinion, it's scientifically wrong to split uh, a tack and if we do it now, we may well have to do it in the future in a one-stock fishery. Uh, Multi-annual plans is vital uh, to allow the sector uh, to uh, plan forward uh, and hopefully tomorrow that good sense would prevail and that we would put in place uh, a report that we can stand over. Gordon